this time last year, you hadn't played for Oxford United, had you? So to be nominated or to be named in in the League One team of the year must be a fantastic feeling for you. Yeah, um, it feels like such a long time ago now. <laughs> well, we do it this time last year. We were sitting at home doing nothing. So yeah, a year on to be to be in, in the team of the years and uh, team of the season. Sorry, is an absolute honour. Really, I'm really happy. Um, it's been well, it's two seasons in one. Really, there's hardly been a break, has there? As, as it rolls into one, I and mean, you have to use this as a springboard. I think, don't you? That you've done well in your first season. Do you think there's more to come from you? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been such a a tough learning curve playing. Um, in in many ways, it's my first full season with a, with a football team, and I think. It's probably going to be, in terms of fixture congestion, it would be the toughest one there ever is for a very long time. I've, yeah. I've never done anything like this, and not only to get the team of the season is good, but I'm very happy with, uh, well, by the start of the season where I missed a few games for the injury, how well I've yeah. coped was it like with my body, and you know, getting through 90 minutes game after game. Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So I'm really, really happy about that. Not only with the performance, but also the fact that I've, you know, got through, got through like that really tough. Because there won't be any, it won't be tougher than that. It cannot be tougher. No. Uh, also, next season, hopefully, you'll have learned to get back when you run forward 30 yards to get back a bit quicker. I would, I'd imagine <laughs> that will come with experience, won't mm. it? Maybe not. <laughs> um, uh, also, uh, you are a very modest man, very nice man, very uh, modest, but the people around you, Lonnie, Russ, Elliot, anybody that's played in that back four, and Jack, Eastie, it's a collective thing, isn't it? Yeah, and um, I couldn't have asked for a better group to uh, play with, really. And I look all around me and I just see solid players and that can only give you confidence as a player. So it's only helped me really develop and, you know, achieve what I've achieved this season. Which we haven't quite achieved what we want yet, still two games to go, still alive. Yeah, and um, it's really exciting for us, everyone at Oxford. I'm sure it's exciting for the fans as well. And it's a bit of a weird one because I wouldn't say the pressure's really on us. Uh, it's, it's in other people's hands and I'd say I'd rather be the chasing than being chased. So, uh, yeah, we just got to go into uh, Saturday Shrewsbury and just enjoy it and get the win hopefully and then whatever happens elsewhere happens.